What's up guys, Coach David DeLeon here from OTL Fitness in Austin, Texas, and today I'm bringing you a six minute ab finisher that you can hit up after your next workout. The great thing is I'm gonna do this entire workout with you. So we're gonna have five big major movements with little 30 second movements in between each one. So, I mean, let's get started. You will need a phone or some type of timer uh, so that way you can keep track of everything. So we're gonna start with one minute of flutter kicks first. Make sure that your lower back is attached to the ground here. Those legs are staying nice and straight and shoulder blades off the floor. So right now my clock is already at seven seconds. Make sure you also breathe pulling that belly button down towards the spine and only that lower back should be touching the floor here. You don't want your shoulder blades on the ground because what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause a little arch to happen in the back and we want that lower back on the ground. If you can't go from this position here guys, no big deal. Just switch it up to whatever scale you need to make it better for you. And if at any point you need to stop and rest, be sure you stop and rest. And as you continue to do this uh, kind of burnout at the end of your workouts, you'll get better and better every time. We've got about 15 seconds left here, so make sure you stay in there. And like I said, breathe the whole time. 10 seconds left. After this, we're gonna go to our hands and feet. In five, four, three, two, one. Taking it to our hands and feet, we're gonna go into a mountain climber, all right? So, hands are gonna stay directly under the shoulders and we're gonna bring those knees up to the chest. I want you to make sure that those feet stay inside of the hands. Don't bring them out to the side and do anything funky there. And remember, this one is gonna be for 30 seconds. Again, breathe, don't let those hips drop down. Keep that stomach nice and tight. We wanna to try to keep the spine as neutral as possible. We have seven seconds left. Five, four, three, Two, one, all right, take it back to the back again. Gotta reset my clock. We're going to that same position, one minute. Now we're gonna go scissor kicks. Again, we have to keep that lower back attached to the floor. You can already hear that I'm kind of running out of breath, so we're starting to feel this right there in that midline, and also those mountain climbers increase that heart rate, so you're gonna feel it. And right now I'm 20 seconds in. Again, if at any point in time you need to stop and shake it out, do so. It doesn't make you less of a person to have to stop and shake it out. Whew. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep that lower back attached to the floor. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground. We have 20 seconds left. Don't look at your clock. I'll let you know when you're there. Whew. Keep breathing, keep moving. 10 seconds. I know that you guys are feeling this now. Try to keep those legs locked out. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, woo! Take it back over to the hands and feet. Again, our shoulders are directly over our wrist. We have 30 seconds of mountain climbers. This is a great time to continue to move fast, but get in deep breathing. In the nose, out of the mouth. 30 seconds here, guys, 15 seconds left. Come on, stay in there, let's go. Drive those knees all the way up, get those feet all the way back. Five seconds, three, two, one, good. Now, we're gonna go to our right elbow into our side plank for one minute. Here, ooh, here, excuse me, I want you to drive those hips up nice and high. Use those obliques that are facing the ground to really engage and drive those hips up. Again, breathe. If this balance is not working for you and you start to lean forward, you can separate your feet, giving you a little more stable position. Continue to breathe. For those who are really strong in this movement, you can even take it up to the hand. Just make sure the shoulder stays away from the ear. We don't wanna get lazy here or here. Everything drives up. Wrist should be stacked on top of the shoulder. All right, we have 10 seconds left. Get those hips up nice and high. You can hear it in my voice now, I'm feeling this. Two, one, all right. Back to the hands and feet. This time for 30 seconds. 
we're gonna take those knees to the elbows. Again, it's a great time to catch your breath while you're still moving. Find a pace that works for you. 15 seconds. Those elbows need to come all the way up, or sorry, knees come all the way up to the elbow. Two, one, and recover, switching sides. So now we're going to that left side. Again, if you need to go from the elbow, go from the elbow. But those hips need to stay up high. Use those obliques, those side abs, as some of you like to call them, to really push those hips up. Again, adjust the feet as needed. And if you can take it to the hand without being sloppy here, take it to the hand. Separate the distance between that shoulder and that ear. Remember guys, these abs are not gonna be made just by these ab burners. It's all about your nutrition and the training on top of that. But don't think, oh, if I do ab burners every day, I'm gonna have abs. It's not how it works. But it definitely doesn't hurt to strengthen that midline as often as possible. That midline is where we get a lot of our stabilization from, so you gotta make sure it's always nice and strong. Fix those hips, bring those hips up nice and high. We've got seven seconds, guys. Three, two, one, recover, bring it back down. Remember, we're going knees to elbows, 30 seconds. Great time to breathe right here. The speed is up to you. If you wanna go faster, go faster. If you need to go to your knees and take a break, go to your knees and take a break, no big deal. You go where you can, where's your skill level right now? No matter where you're at, you can always get better. If you have to rest, we learn not to rest later. If you're good at this right now, we can go faster. Recover there, we're gonna reset that clock. Now the last minute we have here, alternating toe touches for one minute. On our back, feet are up. I'm gonna have one leg down. I'm gonna go five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna switch legs. One, two, three, four, five. I'm taking that hand to the outside of the foot. Make sure you breathe. Come on. All right, 25 seconds. Woo. 10 seconds, guys, come on. Two, three, four, and five, right there. That's time, guys. All right, so those are your six minutes right there. Your ab finisher, ab burner, you call it whatever you want, guys. The important part is you do it. Look at that, six minutes, I'm already sweating it up again. It's a great way to finish your workouts. Again, your abs are not gonna be made in your ab burner, guys. The abs are gonna be made with your nutrition and how hard you train that midline. It's always great to have strong abs, strong midline, strong core. So keep at it, guys. Every single day that you get out of the gym, hit some type of quick burner at the end, follow along with me, take this one with you for the next few weeks and hit it every single day that you're in the gym. Coach David DeLeon here, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and when our next one comes around, I hope you do that one as well. We'll talk to you guys soon.